investment risk and longevity risk. Definitely in a DC framework, these two risks are very prevalent. It's important to remember that investment risk, while hinders or can help the accumulation process in a DC plan, will remain with the member after they retire as well, depending on what vehicles they actually choose to retire with. Well, there has been a view in the past that sponsors felt that as long as they provided the benefit and established the plan, their fiduciary role was pretty much done. That's not really the case. There is another view that's starting to take a lot more traction now. And that view starts, is extending fiduciary responsibility. The idea is that the role of the sponsor extends beyond just a offering of appropriate funds, but it also extends to educating and preparing the employee for retirement and through retirement. Fortunately, we have CAPSA. For those unfamiliar with CAPSA, CAPSA is an acronym that stands for the Canadian Association of Pension Supervisory Authorities. CAPSA provides us guidelines, not laws. That's pretty important. They're just guidelines. Um, they are guidelines that are considered for best practice. And while they are not laws, it's probably not, it's probably conceivable that at some point in the future they could be used as benchmarks in the courts. According to CAPSA, the sponsor is responsible for providing information that allows members to make informed decisions. That includes at retirement. You have these members with inadequate pensions. That translates or could translate to those individuals continuing to work, working at later ages. If they're working at later ages, that means total compensation costs, whether it's salaries, benefit costs, those will be increased due to their age. In turn, decreases productivity. In turn, hampers the growth potential of younger employees, their savings potential, perhaps even turnover. Again, creating this new cycle of inadequate pensions. So how do we protect against this problem of inadequate pensions? I guess a simple answer is we have to consider decumulation. That second stage has to have more importance. 